Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the series. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a better look at Logic Pro X and a new tool called uh, Drummer. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over here at the very top and select a new drummer track. Cool. So right now what we're looking at is pretty much the, the drummer interface. And there's a few different options here. So let's go ahead and start with this right here. So this very first drop down menu or this first uh, you know button for menus is going to be what style of music you want to go ahead and uh, make a drum pattern for. So in this case, let's go ahead and select rock. Now, now that I selected rock, you can see that we have a few different drummers to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Kyle for right now. And when you uh, make changes, when you're actually switching between drummers or anything like that, essentially it'll prompt you this. Essentially what it is, it's basically asking if, you, if you're sure you want to switch to a new drummer and lose any of the previous work that you've done uh, in creating patterns and stuff like that. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, change the drummer. Or if you want to go ahead and keep all the settings that you made before, you can simply uh, go over here to this gear. You'll have a drop down. And then, and then select this where it says keep settings when changing drummers. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to Kyle. Cool. Now that we're uh, working with Kyle, you have a whole bunch of different uh, you know drum, drum sets that you can work with as, as well. So let's go ahead and open up the drum kits. Cool. So I guess uh, Kyle comes with the SoCal kit stock. You know he this is the one that he starts off with, uh, but if you use a drop down, you could obviously choose a different drum kit for him if you're looking for a different sound. Uh, so let's go ahead and select Bluebird. Awesome. We'll go ahead and close this out for right now. Next thing that you want to go ahead and look at and address is going to be this area right here. Now this area right here will kind of determine what, what type of drum pattern uh, Kyle's going to do on the Bluebird kit. So let's go ahead and check out Crash the Party. Awesome. And as you can see, this information here has changed. Let's go ahead and talk about this information real quick. I'm going to go ahead and slide this to the side so you can see a little better. And make this a little larger. So at, at a first glance, it kind of looks like you're working with audio files. But since this is Drummer, you're actually working with MIDI. So instead of getting WAV files, you get these triangular MIDI shapes. Uh, so basically you're working with with MIDI. We'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and focus on this section right here. Now in this section, basically what it does, it, it actually gives you control over the drum pattern. And you use this XY pad to go ahead and determine, you know, what kind of drum pattern you want to make. So you can either make a very simplified drum pattern uh, at a moderate, uh, you know, dynamic or loud or soft or more complex and loud or complex and soft or somewhere down the middle. So you have a lot of control over how this drum pattern is being played, which is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and make it simple and kind of loud. And we'll go ahead and hear how this drum pattern sounds. All right, pretty interesting. Uh, next thing that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is this section right here. Now this section is pretty interesting because now you have total control over which uh, sounds are going to be played during the pattern. So let's go ahead and hit play and isolate, uh, let's say, just the, the kick drum and snare. So I went ahead, went ahead and turned off the toms. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds now.
Now you could also do things like adjust uh, how much kick and snare you want to have. So you can go ahead and make it uh, a lot more intense. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds now. And then finally, you can uh, adjust things like fills, which usually end uh, or usually end up changing the end of you know some particular measures. Usually, like you know two, four, eight, and uh, so on. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and now check out a different uh, preset. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds now. All right, pretty cool. Uh, so. Essentially, Drummer has a, a, an intelligent way of understanding what you want to change at what times. Let's go ahead and check out this feature. So what you're going to want to do is bring up your arrangement and start adding new parts to the arrangement. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this plus sign to add an intro. Reverse. Let's go ahead and change this to an intro. There we are. And let's go ahead and add a new section right here and make that the verse. Now what's interesting is that Drummer will actually identify this as being the intro and kind of have an intro beat. And as it moves over to the verse, it'll automatically change its style of drumming to give it a new vibe. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds now. Really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed your first look at Drummer. Now there's going to be a second video that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys, which is going to show you a little bit more that you, that you guys need to know about Drummer. There's things that you could do with this MIDI information. And also there's things that you could do to design your drum kit as well. So I'll catch you guys on that video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.